Hey guys, Tyrone with Wago here, and today I'm going to show you how you can schedule out a process using the Wago App Time Library in eCockpit. Now I'm going to demonstrate this with a simple home automation example, scheduling on and off a lamp at specific time intervals. We will also be showing you how to connect to the PFC200 wirelessly and setting up a simple web visu to turn on and off the lamp remotely. And uh, for future reference, you might not want to cut up your girlfriend's Himalayan salt lamp for your project. So for this setup, we are using the Generation 1 PFC200 with an A8 600MHz processor, which happens to be very overkill for this application. In this case, a nice substitute might be the PFC100 with less power and a smaller price tag. Just a note, as of the end of 2020, the G1 will be discontinued and replaced with the new G2 PFC200, sporting an improved 1GHz Cortex-A8 processor. To connect to the PFC wirelessly, we will be using the WAGO 758918 Ethernet Wireless Gateway in wireless access point mode. I will put a link below that shows you how to set this up. Alright, so if you guys aren't familiar with getting the PFC set up, I will put a link in the description below with all you need, including the Ethernet settings application and a walkthrough on the first steps with eCockpit. I will also put a video showing you how to set up the WAGO Wireless Ethernet Gateway. First thing we're going to want to do is go into the web base management and set up the clock correctly. If I click here, it will let me adjust the time. However, the time looks pretty good, so I'll leave it here. Next, I'm going to go to eCockpit, where I have my program ready. Looking at the network view, you can see I've already scanned in my PFC and all associated modules using the scan function. In this case, I am using only a PFC 200 and a 2DO module. I've actually wired the output D01 through a 24 volt DC relay coil with a wetted 120 volts output to turn on my lamp. By double clicking into the node, I have declared my digital output 1 as D01 and as a bowl type. Going to my actual program, I have created a new POU and ladder diagram format. You will see I have started off with some function blocks and defined a variable time1 from a library called Wago App Time in eCockpit Library Manager. I won't go into too much detail here, but I've basically just taken the time we had set in the PLC web-based management and converted it into a TOD or time of day variable through the format to TOD function. Next I'm taking that TOD variable I have called local time and I'm comparing it to a defined start and stop time with the is active time function. This function will output a bool called active time which I am then using to switch the contact on the last rung to turn on D01 and ultimately the lamp. You will see I have also set up the variable switch1 in parallel with active time, which I will be using in my web visualization to remotely turn on and off the lamp. Looking at my visualization, I have set the rotary switch to set the variable switch1 to true when active. My indicating light is set to indicate when D01 is on, and ultimately as a confirmation that my light should be on. So now, let's try this out. Alright, so we can see here the first way to turn on and off the lamp is via the web visu on the PFC, remotely connected through the wireless gateway. The second method is through our Wago App Time program. Right now, I have set the PFC to turn the lamp on at 10.50 p.m. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope this was helpful and informative, and if you guys have any other product-related questions, I'll put my contact information in the description below.